All right, we did it. We had a nice lunch. Now we're a thousand pounds extra than we were before. <laughs> Please. Awesome. But we made it to Wilderness Ranch, which is my brother's design. I'm so excited for you guys to see this place on film. He has a couple rounds, I believe, on his YouTube channel, so go check that out if you get a chance. I'll have Tyler put his link in the description. Uh, but I have a one-shot lead. This is not ideal. No, not <laughs> ideal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three shots here. I'll take it. Because I I'll feel like that's fair. I I'll thought that you were going to beat me on the golf course, which you probably should have, but I Stumpy. finagled. <laughs> <laughs> I finagled. If you, you haven't checked out part one with the golf round, really stop now and go over there and check that out. That was part one of a two a two part thing. Yep. And so now we're here, disc golf. I'm gonna give them three shots. And then we'll fill it out. Cause I you might So you're up so you're up two then. No, I'm up two then. Well, I'll give you four. You're up three. Okay. Going into so three. giving me four. Yeah. All right. So my handicap in golf used to be an eight when I played a, like once a week or something like that when I was 16. I'm now, probably an eight now. Yeah. But the course he just took me to. <laughs> Tri whoa. <I> tricked him. <laughs> whoa. In disc golf, my rating, which is the which is our way of figuring that out, Stroke. is 10, 10, 28. Yours is. 968, so we'll call it an even six. So we'll give you five then. Let's give you five shots. You're up four on me. That's even okay. with the handicap si system. So I'm now down four shots. Hole one, 202 feet. Dude, this place is so beautiful. Can't wait for you guys to see it. You really want to start off with the bird. Guess where I got this disc? <laughs> Put it right in your eyeball, too. I would love to see it. Juiced. Get a good ground play. Oh, just Let's go. It. Nice shot. So the play on this one, which you'll see a lot on my brother's course designs, is initial gap is crucial. Hit the initial gap, then you're probably home free after that. Which is this right here. Okay, a little deep. We're looking, we're dancing. Hometown love, baby. Nice, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Park. Park. Good shot. I'm coming for your money, dude. So super cool little things that my brother does. He makes these walkways all to the next hole. Every hole has a bench. Turf tees, long and short on a lot of these holes. So I mean, just freaking gorgeous. Yeah, big shout out to Pete Ulibarri. Absolute legend in Arizona disc golf. Hole two, par, th or, uh, par three, 333 feet. Looks pretty darn straight with a, maybe a slight finish there at the end. I'm gonna throw a beat up MD3. Let's see if we can get it up there. Oh, love it, go. Yeah, that's a putt. Yeah, we'll putt. In all of life, is when you get a little rock in your shoe, you pop it out, then you hit on the back side of your shoe and you did the little crank, and then your shoe's ruined forever. I know that happens to everybody. Gonna. That's nasty. Tire? A little deep. Hold on, I'm a tire. Is that a heat? Um, that was a mantis. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Good putt. Thank you, sir. In the circle. And I've been really working on my outside of the circle. All right, hole three, par three, 280 feet. I'm gonna throw a little first run buzz, flip to flat. 
try and coast it up there, maybe a little left side, give myself a look. I know that's not going to lefty or forehand. Oh, that's your business. I don't know. Judging by your lefty shot I saw, you don't want to do that. <laughs> You're not kidding. No, I mean, usually I don't throw lefty unless I'm outside of 300. My forehand really only goes that far. That was almost perfect. It was really close. Nice. Yeah. That was perfect. Big bro put some nicely prayed praised. Some nicely praised trees. <laughs> <laughs> I need a Eulabari on a Eulabari course. I don't know. I, so. I have a little input, not a lot. I think I have to jump up. Okay. Try to make it. Not gonna lay up. That's a good shot. I'm gonna get a lay up. Where are you at? Oh. Nice shot. <laughs> Nice shot. <laughs> what? Pete, what have you done? In this safe though. Alright, Tyler is at even par. I am at three down now. So my thousand dollars is just barely safe. Two down. Hole five is par three, 305 feet. And as you can see, super narrow, narrow gap. Pretty sick. Yeah. Oh, so close to being yummy. Okay. Beautiful shot. <gasps> Initial gap. Done. Check. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to jump on this. I've been working on this shot. Trying to get the power. Yeah, get the reward. Trying to get the power. Go. Did I hit something? Uh, well, you don't want to know. Shot? You don't want to know what I just did. This is bank shot. I went between the V on the right. <laughs> the bank shot. That's what I was trying to do. Idiot. Good three though. Good three freaking hard. 
Lucky ducky still all day. <laughs> Good bait shot. Thanks. Perched up there on the ass. What the two two buckets? There's another one to the left. But this one is obviously that straight one. The whole six par four, 535 feet. I think personally, this is the best hole in Arizona. It's like dead straight. There is out of bounds on the right. And this is a manageable par four, but you have to hit the gap. And if you want to get super aggressive, you can kind of get up there for a long, long look. But you could legitimately put this hole on any course on the planet and this would be one of the better holes on the course period a lot of courses i mean look at it it's just beautiful it is the fairway is perfect but it's tight i mean it's awesome man i'm so yeah i'm so bad <sighs> Blasted. That's disgusting, actually. That's annoying. <laughs> Good shot. I'm just trying to just get right side. Nice. Got a little love. Yeah, honestly, I was trying to go left of that. All right, this is the best shot I think. Ew. You can have ever here. Like I'm past the pin, 5:30 through the smallest gap ever. You dodged about probably 400 feet. I have this little, but I can pop it. All right, just get it there. I am minus four, you are? Minus one. Minus one, which means you have me by two shots still. We're going into hole seven, par three, 280, slight dog leg right. <laughs> and Pete, I don't think anybody's gotten past that pin yet. So that's the best drive ever on that hole. I'm gonna just say it, it's gotta be. So after the ugliest forehand you ever saw, you gotta try it. I would just try to snag a par. Well, yeah, but just like a fluttery attempt. Okay, know? yeah, fluttery attempt. I like that. A fluttery floater. A fluttery floater attempt at the glory. Get off it. And that's why you should just take par. Well, I was <laughs> trying to take. Come on, Matt. Well, <laughs> try a bogey button there. <laughs> That's fun. Mm. Duh. Hole eight, par four, 360. I think it plays as a par three from here for the open. Yeah. <laughs> kick, kick, part, eagle, black. <laughs> nice, that'll work. Go. That's actually good, because now you can pitch massive it. Massive flip. Yeah, but now you got a straight shot at it. Yeah. yeah. Flex. Right. Nice, Todd. Go. Yeah, kind of in the brush there. But... Nasty. 
See, we just don't have the room. All right, hole nine. We got par four, 460 yards. It's gonna be straight down and then a really hard dog leg right. Currently standing at Paul's at minus seven and I'm at minus one, which means he's got me by a shot after he gave me a bunch of shots. So two shots, he's actually got me by two shots. Yeah, I'm kind of whipping you. Yeah, so I gotta do something <laughs> and he needs to stop shredding. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah, that should be money. Mm -hmm. Really? One inch? <laughs> I really thought I was about to smoke it. What are you, have a wingspan of 6,000 feet? Yes, I'm looking at I'm a big old bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude, I was so close. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna get the same score. So that was by far the worst shot I've ever thrown in my life. <laughs> I think every video you have has to. I keep getting worse. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> All right, if I can just make this, it save my entire mood. <laughs> a mood saver. Yeah, this is a mood saver for sure. Stay Got a up. chance. Oh. You're a, such a little wimp. Every time, second putt. Okay. Second putt. Shut up. All right, guys, that was it for the front nine. I am currently sitting at seven under par. He's at one under par, even though I just botched the easiest shot of my life. Still playing really good. Still really playing well. really good. So, where thank are we at you. overall? I have you by a thousand or something. What a is thousand? It? I don't know. What <laughs> you was gave it? me five. So I got you by two. So you got me by two. One. Because I'm at seven. But here. you had one after golf. So you're two. Two. Okay. Two up on the combined. You two, two up. Ahead. Two up on the combined. Not out yet. No. Thank you guys for joining the second part of a three part challenge. I know it's long, but bear with us. We're trying to get it done for you guys and uh, catch us on the back. Now, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the section below to make sure you uh, let us know if you liked it or if you didn't and things we can do better. Also, if you aren't a member yet, patreon.com slash pauleulibury. Become a member because we have awesome merch on there, extra content. We're going to be putting out a lot more stuff, uh, especially in this coming off season. So thank you guys and catch us on the back night.